you may be wondering, why do we need a capsulotomy device? I thought cataract surgery was pretty much state of the art and we've got femtosecond lasers in addition. This is why. This is my good friend, Brian Little, who is regarded as one of the masters of the capsularexis, with whom I published a paper about a decade ago on how to rescue these difficult cases. And anybody can get into this kind of trouble and it's what we call the heart-stopping capsularexis, especially during training. During residency, when surgeons are first learning how to do this kind of thing, this is the hardest step in the cataract procedure. And I think that's why, you can see, he's really not having much fun here tearing those zonular fibers. This is why there's interest in devices like Zepto and like Aperture CTC, which is our device. Now, femtosecond lasers can create a perfectly centered and perfectly round capsulotomy almost all the time. But the strength of those capsulotomies has been called into question. And in addition, I think you all realize femtosecond lasers are kind of pricey. So their application has really been limited to the premium channel, patients who desire refractive correction. Maybe their household incomes are a bit more than $75,000 a year, I'm not sure. But currently, toric IOLs, Limbal relaxing incisions, multifocal accommodative IOLs represent a small percentage of the market, more than that in revenue, granted, but still a flat and small percentage. So we have the vast number of cases where we'd like to get femtosecond-like outcomes, but really can't afford to do that. So we're seeing interest in these lower cost capsulotomy devices. And as you can see here, there's more than just uh, Zepto and Aperture playing in this pool. Now, if you could uh, roll the next video, please. I'd just like to show you our uh, preclinical work. So we are a slightly earlier stage in the innovation cycle, as Bill was uh, telling us about, than Zepto. But here's an open sky approach uh, in a porcine eye. We also have a 2.2 millimeter uh, uh, capability. This model has a five and a quarter diameter, but we can make from 4.5 to six. It's a quick. A millisecond level application of thermal energy which melts the collagen and creates a perfectly round capsulotomy. And as I express the lens material here, you'll be able to see that. What's very interesting and what we've seen in the publications from Zepto as well as in our own studies is that that edge of the capsulotomy is rolled over. So that incredibly smooth edge you see in the photomicrographs is not the cut edge. That's the rolled back edge, but rolling it back like that really seems to increase the strength. And we can really uh, wail on these things and stretch them out before they break. So I think the strength is actually enhanced over even manual capsulorexis, which was something we never expected. We have a standalone unit currently. Obviously, it can be integrated into a variety of FACO machines. I just randomly picked these three FACO machines to demonstrate. I'm sure none of you know these companies. We have also done some market research, uh, and surgeons are very interested, including surgeons who uh, really do participate in the premium channel. They would like to be offering femto-like capability uh, to their patients who can't afford premium channel, 85% of the market. Uh, Jeff Whitman calls out how important this would be in training. Believe me, once these devices are in residency programs, the capsularexis will become a lost art much like suturing an extracapsular cataract uh, wound. And if any of you don't know what that is, ask one of the surgeons in the room. We can tell you all about it. There are three components here. Um, you know, we believe there will still be some manual. Uh, we believe that a vast proportion of the market will be automated capsulotomy. And we believe that a small percentage will continue to uh, get the benefits from femtosecond, which is really going more toward image-guided surgery and image-guided refractive correction, which is premium channel if I've ever heard it. We have a very strong IP portfolio and an excellent management team. Steve Bryant, well-seasoned CEO, been around from Chiron uh, days. Manny Rodriguez, our uh, marketing genius, and Chip Furness, our engineer par excellence, who's worked at Alcon and Bausch and & Lohm in the past. So thank you very much for your attention. That's how we're going to revolutionize capsulotomy. <laughs>